Want to elevate your portfolio beyond stocks and bonds, but not sure where to look? Equity Multiple brings you an unparalleled wealth generation ecosystem built on diversified real estate investments. With Equity Multiple, you can access commercial real estate, the preferred asset class of institutional investors. And you can get started with just 5K in a matter of minutes. Visit equitymultiple.com forward slash boost and earn an enhanced return on your first investment. Have we figured out how to explain deja vu? How do chameleons do that thing they do? Do you really need to wash your blue jeans? Yeah, you do. But how often? Hey, my name's Mike Simpson. I've got a podcast about curiosities. It's called I've Got Questions. We go through my list of random stuff and yours. Please participate. Send me your questions. I'll find someone to answer them. We've talked about our true crime obsession, how grocery stores are tricking us, super secret flight attendant stuff. I've got questions. New episodes Thursdays on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Once again, we teamed up with the Washington State Council of Firefighters. We're working with Operation Warm. Why? Because new coats on kids that need them. This year, especially, do not need kids catching colds or anything worse because they didn't have the right kind of coat. And we need about 1,700, a little over 1,700 coats. So we got to get this done, man. And uh, all it takes is 20 bucks. Puts a brand new coat on a kid that needs one. Join the 69 crew and make it even fun and more coats. Like, shout out to Thomas Boswell, member of the 69 crew. Very proud of you. Very glad to bring you into our world there, Thomas. And then also all the great rockaholics donating just different amounts of money, like Alicia Stubblefield, $103 donated to Thank you, Alicia. Coach for Kids. And Amber Renee Vasquez. She, is that how I say the last name? Vasquez, yeah. Vasquez? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Venice, not Vasquez? Yeah. I mean, for Steve, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, it's a good job. Wait a second. <laughs> I can say it right. Amber Renee Vasquez. Oh, my God, you did. Yeah, Riba. Oh, my God. Okay, that, that's... And we're yeah, done. And we're done. Okay, well, yeah. 21 bucks you donated, and that's awesome. We appreciate you, Amber. Amber Renee V. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, you said it right. Uh, we're trying to raise 35 grand. That's what we got to do to get all these coats we need. You can help out. Any dollar amount helps or sharing it on your social media, please do. You want info? You want to donate? K-I-S-W dot com. Let's play B-Mix. It's time to play the jam. Yeah. Scream his name. B-Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. B-Mix. You're a loser. It is time. Time to be. Tequila! Tequila! What? Tequila! Tequila! Nice! Yeah, get some tequila, and then while you're uh, prepping your turkey this week, yeah, yeah, don't don't brine it in the tequila because I think that'll be a little weird. But uh, have you tried it? I have not tried it. So you're probably right, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's get to our contestant today. We got Jeff in Everett. Jeff, are you there? Well, I'm here. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. Goodbye. Get off! <laughs> don't buy your turkey and tequila. Buddy. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, for those playing at home, Jeff will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Jeff, you can pass all you want, but you'll only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think that was a yes. <laughs> what was the name of the toy terrorizing kid from the 1995 movie Toy Story? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no? What? Pass. There we go. go. How many minutes are in five hours? How many minutes are in five hours? You have a bad phone, Jeff, or you don't know how to use it. One of the two. 300. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a 300. Yeah. Which country suffered the most casualties in World War II? 
Okay, Jeff. Did Jeff leave? He's done. Oh, Jeff's gone. He's done. Hey, BJ, how, yeah. uh, which country suffered the most casualties in World War II? Uh, Austria. No. Uh, Germany. No. Uh, I'm going to say England. No. What uh, is the capital of North Dakota? Uh oh, which country? Of course, no. Which capital? Oh yeah, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> uh, what was the question? What is the capital of North Dakota? Uh, Bismarck. Yes. Who played Tyler Durden in the late '90s movie Fight Club? Oh, uh, that was uh, our boy Ed Norton. No. Uh, I mean, like I said, Brad Pitt. Yes. <laughs> in the in the card game bridge was considered the highest of the four suits. Oh, that would be Spade, sir. Yes. And with uh, BJ and Jeff together, uh, the duo gets. Four correct. And in theory, it could it be Edward oh, Norton, okay. too. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, the yeah, same, yeah. It's the same guy. I don't know if you know this. Spoiler alert, yeah. but in Fight Club. Was it, is, was it Israel, by the way? Uh, it was not. Oh. No. I, well, just because of all the horrific things that happened to the Jews, I thought maybe they had the highest body count. Mm. Uh, well, that, but, no. So was it so for World War Two? You said right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why I thought you know I wasn't sure if it was a trick question because I don't know the I really no. don't know the casualty count. Oh, but obviously it was horrific for Jews. Yes, it so, was absolutely. So, but that's, that's why I was leading kicking, up towards oh, it, not really with the combat right. and casualties of yeah, that. That's why I was kicking myself. I'm like, yeah. oh wait a minute, no, 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 no. Okay. You're kicking yourself for the wrong reason. Right, you just kind of overthought that one. I, I sure think, did. That. Yeah, but leading up to it, actually, oh man, I think it was actually no. Even with that, yeah. Because now looking at it, I I watched a history special about all of this sort of stuff. I actually, I mean, I, I, there was an answer I didn't obviously give. Mm-hmm. But, may, you know, it probably should have been the answer. It might have been. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have see. to see what Steve does with this. Yeah. Now, Steve. Yes, sir. Uh, Jeff's phone was terrible. Yeah. So it ended up being a tag match where BJ was tagged in. Oh, yeah. so. Did he get one right, though, Jeff? Jeff only got one correct and yeah. his phone died. Uh oh. So, uh, well, BJ got a couple more. So you have to see uh, what you can do here with that. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, uh, yes. What was the name of the toy terrorizing kid from the 1995 movie Toy Story? Woody. No. Dennis. No. Kevin. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> How many minutes are in five hours? 300. Yes. yes. Which country suffered the most casualties in World War II? Oh, um, uh, Japan. No. Soviet Union. Yes. What is the capital of North Dakota? Nice. Norfolk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, (laughs) Oh, crap. What's that? Fargo. No. North Dakota City. No. Who played Tyler Durden in the late 90s movie Fight Fight Club? Yes. In the card game Bridge, what is considered the highest of the four suits? Um, Hearts. No. Spades. Yes. Spades. (laughs) Definitely spades. The Teletubby Tinky Winky has what geometric shape on its head? Triangle. Yes. Who directed the 1994 movie Ed Wood? Ooh. Um... What's his face? Tim Burton. Yes. What was Lucy's last name in the TV series I Love Lucy? Um, Arnez. No. Ricky. Desi Arnez. Oh, Ricky Ricardo. Lucy Ricardo. Yes. Wow. Working through that one there. Boy, I don't know, man. That's you know what? I won't even give that to him because but he still wins. He still wins. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six. Correct. You win six to four with that tag team effort there. Oh, uh, that sucks, man. Yeah, you didn't have I, enough time to get to all the fair shot, man. I know. Steve probably would have still won. Probably. <laughs> he got look. He got the Soviet Union. He deserves it. I would have never yeah. guessed the Soviet yeah. Union. Yeah, there were like. I, and it was like in the at least the twenties of millions of people I think who died. Like, wow! Yeah, I would have you know, and I would have I would have picked Japan too just because of the bomb. Yeah, you know, but uh, none of that. The Soviet Union still had the most casualties. They had the longest fighting with Damn. the Germans on the uh, Russian front. Yeah. For Sixteen point eight million people died. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. That was a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the actually BJ got this one correct, not Jeff. Uh, the capital of North Dakota is Bismarck. Hey! Bismarck. Bismarck! Yeah, yeah. There's a place that nobody cares about. <laughs> and yeah. I know that, I don't think that BG or Steve, or, well, Steve didn't know the uh, the bad kid from Toy Story. I can't remember his name. Pretty sure Danny knows it. Sid! Sid! Sid. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. <laughs> You'll know that soon, Steve. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Because my only recollection of uh, Toy Story was in college, and we, we smoked way too many bong hits, <laughs> and tried watching Toy Story, and I had a panic attack, and I had to call the school nurse. <laughs> Like well, the campus nurse. How do, how do you address that with the campus nurse? Well, my friend did. Oh. Buddy Thomas. And, and he called for me. And she just said, what happened? He'll be fine. <laughs> That's probably the best answer with that. Just go, go lay down somewhere. Right. Part Chill out. Like, have him stop. First of all, have him stop watching Toy Story. <laughs> 
<laughs> so stupid. That's amazing. Yeah, I didn't let that one down for a while. Yeah. I, like, bet. I straight up had a panic attack. I was I, I got way too stoned, and that and we started the movie, and I just was like, "This is too much for me." <laughs> it just bailed. Yeah, love it. Well, uh, congrats on your win today. Ah, uh, college. <laughs> college was the best time. Good old college. <laughs> Well, as you know, man, we all are in this lockdown situation. And a bar in Cleveland, same thing. They just had to shut down again because of the coronavirus. And on the last day they were open, how about this? Somebody walked in, ordered a beer, and left a $3,000 tip for the whole staff to pl- split. The owner actually thought it was a $300 tip. He's like, oh, that was nice of him. $300 is nice. But then all of a sudden, where the comma is. he's like, what the? Oh. Take care of this split amongst the wait staff. Oh, my God, he left a $300 tip on a $7 beer tab. And then I put my glasses on, right? And I look down and I go, oh, my God. It was a $3,000 tip. That's, I mean, how about Brendan, the owner, is just like, okay, am I so happy to be nearsighted at this point? Wow. Uh, yeah, that is, that's nuts. You know what's the crazy part? I just instantly thought it was like, like an Irish pub. But then I was reading about it because just his accent. I was like, oh, it's definitely, it's probably like some kind of fun place where you get your Guinness. And it's, it's, I guess it's like a jazz club. Oh, yeah, I don't know the, why. I just nice. made that instant, like, you know, that was the first thing I was thinking the I same thought. thing. Right. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a big help because they're probably going to be, you know, facing six to eight weeks of closure, he says. Dang. Uh, and that's Ohio. And Ohio's been kind of like the Wild West out there. Mm-hmm. They've been doing what they want, you know, unlike where the bars have never been open here again. Uh, so that $3,000 will be really helpful. So it's it's stuff like that that, you know, will help folks take the sting out of the financial, you know, repercussions of what we're trying to do. Okay. What do you think? What kind of beer do you think you got? Because I know. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask you. Oh, you know the beer. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, Coors Banquet. Coors Banquet. Oh, wrong. Damn. So this is one we can guess. It's not. It's not one of. It's not like some local beer. It's not. Like, it's not some random. Okay. Like it's All not right. like Cleveland Steamers Micro Brew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny, your guess. That was mine. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, ooh, what kind of beer that is? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Molson's Golden Ale. <laughs> what the hell? I love Molson's Golden. Wrong. Uh, I like the, the vibe that you guys are trying to make it like seem like something that's kind of like regal. Yeah. Or just in the name. Oh, because- I've got it. Well, after Danny has it, I have a great regal name. Okay. But Corona. Think- Corona. Wrong. Oh. He's, he's, giving you, he's giving you a hint. It's- Vicky. I was going to say Blue Moon. Wrong. What about Stella Artois? Bing, bing, bing. Oh. oh I thought wow. that was regal. That isn't a regal sounding beer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it, is. Yeah, it sounds oh. fancy. Yeah. You have to get the fancy glass with it every time you get the Stella right? Artois too. You That's know what? One time where I'm not going to roll my eyes at someone getting that beer because you got a good tip. Yeah, I thought you were giving us an anti clue, meaning that Stella wouldn't be the answer. No, because you say, oh, I like how you guys are trying to be all fancy, and I thought, oh, it must just be pretty <laughs> much a domestic beer. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that's what the, the, I thought. I was like, okay, you guys are on the right path. Like, oh, oh it's thinking something kind of fancy sounding. Were you going to get Stella Artois? Ren? No, I was going to go with Miller High Life because it's the champagne oh. of beers. It is the champagne of beers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be a good guess as well. It would fit right in that criteria. Yeah. It would like Bush Ice or something like that. Oh, Stella Artois. Uh, it's too bad I didn't think of that first. Yeah, right. Yeah, I would have been the winner. Mm. Instead, I mean, I'm the kind of winner, but I got too many guesses. So I, lo- <laughs> I lost on beat beer mix. <laughs> got a new survey. And, uh, well, this is going to be a happy subject as they ask people to name the top things they missed this year because they're counting down to the end of 2020 uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, and I'll tell you this, uh, family actually ranked lower than friends, which makes sense. Cause aren't you seeing your family? I, I mean, think some people are, are, are willing, you know, they're, they've, I, I think at first a lot of people was keeping away from everybody and then and things, you know, went on and it was like, okay, I'll, I'll hang on with my family, but I'll stay away from my friends. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I mean, I, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the numbers, but millions, they, they said there's like a, been a million people have been traveling through the airport this week. Oh yeah. They're still doing the Thanksgiving. Thing. Uh, my buddy that was just traveling. He's like, it was, the, the flight was just packed and I'm guessing it wasn't packed with just his family. <laughs> yeah. And those, uh, those folks aren't essential personnel, are they? Uh, those folks are not He's all very essential. essential. He's a professional wrestler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and that's the that's the debate, of course. You know, so you I gotta piss off a man named Hammerstone. I am hell no. Uh, my wife is staying in California, and I'm staying up here because, again, I don't know. Those states ask us to not travel, but the rest of the country doesn't seem to be uh, obeying that situation because I guess it's a hoax. Um, so yeah, so these are the things that we've missed. I got the top ten things that we've missed because of this pandemic. Oh, uh, trying, the first thing that popped in my head, and I was just thinking about it yesterday because I was like, I still have, I have that, like, you know, the coupon that I could re- eventually get on a flight for a cheaper price again. Oh, right. Because we weren't able to travel to Oakland, scenic Oakland, to go see Pearl Jam. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, it's funny. Get, uh, getting on a plane is not, I think, because a lot of people are still doing that. Well, I don't miss getting on a plane. 10. I miss going to see Pearl Jam. Oh! <laughs> I'm, not, yeah. I'm not bummed about not getting to fly <laughs> to Oakland. I don't yeah. even miss Oakland, BJ. Yeah. The whole point was I miss seeing Pearl Jam. Oh, the concerts. That's number yes. nine on the list. Concerts. Number nine is, uh, that's it. Oh, uh, what about uh, Midget Wrestling? Someone said, I missed that because of COVID. Yeah, specifically, that is yeah. number one, little person wrestling. They didn't use that, you know, the M word. They used little person well, wrestling, the, number one. They refer to it as midget wrestling in there in, with uh, the traveling show. Oh, they do? Yes. So, so oh, for so, some reason, it's okay when you have the word wrestling after it. Okay. Well, I suppose, listen, if, if, the, if the people wrestling want to call themselves whatever they want to call themselves, right. that's, their, that's their right. But for me, I'm not sure I'm allowed to. So okay. I'm, just, I'm, I'm erring on the side yeah, of so car. You're LPW, what, little person wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Fair. LP dub. Uh, that's, I respect uh, that. You're yeah, very woke. Thanks, man. Uh, that's not on the list. Uh, what about, like, having house parties? Having house parties as I'm looking through this whole thing, and it's not on the list. Oh, man, because uh, that's the one thing I missed. I mean, I got the house. I got the amazing bar. I got the killer backyard, and now no one can come over and have fun. I would, I didn't get invited over anyway, so what, did I have COVID, like, two years ago? Uh, you just figured? Yes. Yeah, is that what that's it was? That's exactly the reason why. Yeah. Well, Actually, it's a good thing you're not in Oregon if you decide to have that party, because I guess their governor just said, hey, if you see somebody having a house party, call the cops on them. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. The governor of Oregon's going well. Yeah, she said that. Whoa. For Thanksgiving, if you notice your neighbors are having get togethers, call the cops. Wow, she's she's really governor lockdown. Yes. I think well, that's actually her last name. <laughs> How do you, I, I don't like that. I mean, I understand the, the sentiment of it all, but now you got people ratting people out. That's not gonna create a good situation. Yeah. You know, I mean, what if, you know, snitches get stitches kind of attitude? I mean, I don't want to see. Especially people, when it comes to Thanksgiving. I don't want people fighting each other because they go, because you know what happens. Oh, I throw a can of that cranberry sauce at you if you call the cops on me. What Ooh. if I'm the neighbor to the right who usually is a pain in the ass, but it's the neighbor to the left that called on that house? They're going to think it was me. Well, yeah. If, it was, if I was in your neighborhood and anything happened, I would think you were the reason. Exactly. I would legit think it was I you know. every single time. No matter time. what. I would be like, somebody ratted us out? Oh, it's that BJ guy. And I'm gonna, you won't believe me when I say it wasn't me. No, I think you're lying to me. Exactly. So I'm screwed. I, I'm thinking, don't, don't do that here, Inslee. I, because my neighbor's going to all come to me. So he said three different trips to Vegas were canceled. Uh, yeah, oh, vacations is uh, number yeah. seven on the list, so I would say that. Joe, stop texting in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's six, then. <laughs> That's the case. All right. Vicky may like number two. We'll see if this is what her number two is. Being able to go on a date. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Good answer. Good like, answer. Meet new people. Yeah, that's... um Socializing. Yeah, really spending times with friends is number three, but not really, you know, going to a movie, that's kind of a date thing. So you got three and five in oh, there. Oh, wow. Okay. I, just, I haven't even thought about that. We talked about that before. The last time I saw a movie was almost a year ago in the theater with the last or, yeah, the last Sky or Rise of Skywalker. The last so, Rise of Jedi yeah, Skywalker. Yeah, the last Star Wars movie. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, people miss shopping malls, though we've got ours back. Yeah, Which yeah. Some of the stores aren't aren't open. Yeah, that's true. We walked recently a few days ago. We went to the South Hill Mall and just walking around. There were many stores that weren't open. Some that were, and then there was Santa Claus. And I thought that was kind of odd because he had no line. Twenty. Yeah. See, I you know I almost wanted to sit on. What's with the Santa? What's I mean? I mean, how can the kid? I don't I, care if they got masks or not. You got. I mean, I've seen a couple parading people through. With Santa? I've seen a couple of pictures where Santa's behind a plexiglass. Okay, <laughs> and it was it was weird because one of the elves was wiping down the glass. Can uh, they have, it looks so surreal. Can they have make fun with that? Like and like have it be that Santa's now a bank teller, and you're just going to like <laughs> hand him some like Santa's list through the bank teller thing. Oh, if they had one of those tubes, yeah. What, that would be cool. So what do you do? Do you stand in front of the plexiglass? And the yeah, camera? yeah. You stand up on a little stage right there because it's still the high riser. So you stand up on that. Whoa. You tell them what you want and then just move on. What a, I mean, what That's a humbling weird. time for Santa. Because, you know, at least right around this time every year, there's probably like days they feel like gods. You know, lines of people wanting to sit on their lap. Yeah. And then I walk around. <laughs> And there's no line. And he's just kind of sadly waving like, hey, hey, I'm over here. Santa here. And he's got like his, he's got that welder's seat thing, thing that you wear in the airplane. Oh, he's got stuff. the sh- face shield. The nice. face shield. Yeah. And I was like, maybe, maybe I should go sit on his lap. And she's like, don't do that. Don't I don't think me. you can. I, 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 see, they shouldn't even let people sit on his lap. Well, I don't know if he was going to let me or not. I was just going to go do oh, it. Okay, well, let's see. You're the, re- you're the yeah, listen, super spreader. <laughs> you can't do that. I didn't do it. All right. I just thought it. Oh, that's not good. But we had Tatum. I'm like, gosh, man, like this would have been so epic. No line for Santa. We could have made this happen. We could have had all the time in the world. But, of course, we didn't because 
We don't know where the hell Sam has been. <laughs> you got to get green screen. You just got to take. That's it. what I said. They, yeah, they should have him and then have a green screen booth right next to it. Take the pictures and then they instantly Photoshop Santa on. It's a great idea. Yeah. Like a, a green screen sculpture of a guy sitting that you can sit on the green screen's lap. Right. Yeah, that's not a germ thing, though, is it? <laughs> None of this works. No, no, it really, really no. It yeah, doesn't. never mind. You know, what? maybe we just say hi, Santa, and I'll just find a stock picture of Santa. Yep, and then take a picture of Tatum. It's and probably Photoshop better anyway. it, Photoshop yeah. it because yeah. she doesn't. You don't have to go through the her being scared of Santa thing. Yeah. Oh, and I could Photoshop like what looks like a little wet patch on his on his on his leg. Wow, and then for years make her think that she had an accident on <laughs> She's Santa. Never gonna remember. <laughs> that's a right, wonderful. You will remember. I'll, uh, Merry Christmas, new daughter. And just give her a hard time. Yeah. Tatum, you remember when you were a baby? Dad, don't tell that story again. I got the picture to prove it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, for 40 bucks, you can get a uh, costume. You can be Santa. I already have a Santa outfit. Oh, and dude. You can be Santa. I'm gonna. Dress up as Santa, invite your dad over, and he can beat you up in front of your child, and you can carry That's, on the legacy. Yeah. Great, minus the Santa part. I'm just reliving my childhood. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. That got dark. I'm kidding. Uh, it, <laughs> Jesus. But okay. yeah, my wife's family have a Santa costume, so I'll probably... You remember every year, I, for a while, I was, I was Santa. I'm, I'm probably either going to have to be Santa again this year or someone. You're going to have to do something about that because you've lost weight, buddy. Well, that, a, a pillow will make me look like him. I was just going to offer you more pie and dessert. That also. I do have a month. I can I can bulk up. It's bulking oh, season, Bulk boys. it up, buddy. All right. <laughs> it is time for Listeners on the Loose. This is where you get to pick the topic. You get to guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What do you want to talk about? We got your calls. We got your texts at 917 on the Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on the Rock. 99.9 KISW. Want to elevate your portfolio beyond stocks and bonds, but not sure where to look? Equity Multiple brings you an unparalleled wealth generation ecosystem built on diversified real estate investments. With Equity Multiple, you can access commercial real estate, the preferred asset class of institutional investors. And you can get started with just 5K in a matter of minutes. Visit equitymultiple.com forward slash boost and earn an enhanced return on your first investment. Equity Multiple, welcome to modern real estate investing. Hey, what's up, everyone? You find yourself trying to get your Craig Mac on and put some brand new flavor in your ear? Well, funny you should mention that because we have a brand new show that you should check out. It is called Pod Sauce. It is your podcast discovery show. Everyone's always looking for a podcast recommendation. We got lots of them for you, from true crime to pop culture. And you can join us each week as we dish on all of our favorite podcasts out there. So make sure you download the Odyssey app and search Pod Sauce or head on over to podsauce.com. We got you covered, guys. The Russian invasion. The heroic Ukrainian resistance. It's the biggest land war in Europe since World War II. And the war in Ukraine daily brings it all to you. From Moscow to Washington. From Kiev to Mariupol. The war in Ukraine daily talks to newsmakers around the world. And to the everyday Ukrainians whose very existence is threatened. Hear the heartbreaking stories of those caught in the war. But also hear about the acts of bravery as history is being made. I'm Mike Simpson. And I'm Charles Feldman inviting you to join us. The war in Ukraine daily on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Hand and Stone Massage and Facial Spa. Listeners on the Loose, where you pick the topic, you guide the show at 206-421-ROCK. You can also text us at 77999. And here's what you can do. Get on the phone, start talking about whatever just makes you inspired. Whatever you just want to say, but Steve still has that rule. And to show some energy and bring it, otherwise we're going to have to gong you. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. I just got a text message uh, from someone said, Hey, I just uh, joined the 69 Club for Coach for Kids. However, it's our group. So please, can you show some love? Because he had an actual name, which is Colin. But he said, uh, can you actually uh, say the Everett Eagle Riders instead of Colin, if you read names? I'm the president. But I want my name read. Oh, sorry, Colin. Uh, but anyways, he says, that would feel weird. Thanks for what you do. Sorry, I made you feel weird. But shout out to the Everett Eagle Riders. You failed in every aspect of that shout out. I, I did. Say. But I, I got Everett Eagle Riders, and they're part of the 69 crew. That's That That at least was the important part of that. They should get a little patch that said 69. Uh, you know what? They got a lot of patches probably on their cuts, right? Um, yeah. Why not? Let, let them do it. 
Damn straight. Yeah, I got no problem with that. And it's great to see uh, those guys represent. Um, a lot of time, folks that ride just do not get the credit they get for doing all the good work they do. They raise, you know, I mean, it just seems like everybody's got a poker run or some sort of awesome mm-hmm. thing that motorcycle clubs do to really do good for the community. So thank you, guys. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah. It is Listeners on the Loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. So here's a very important question. So... Who won the big dessert battle? Was it Migs or was it Sarah? I would argue we all won. Yes. Well, yeah. Agreed. And I, and I would argue that it pretty much was very similar tasting pies. One had nuts, one didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say that it really... It, it was, was just a, basically a pudding pie. It was sad that um, they were basically the same thing. Uh, except, you know, you did yours from scratch and had a few more ingredients that you added to it that I think, you know, gave your, your pie some depth. And unfortunately, Sarah could not find an Oreo cookie crust. So she went and got a chocolate crust, which is good. Yeah. But, but she you know, made and, one by hand. She that one by scratch. Crumbled up those cookies. Mm, I agree. Those Oreos. But if she's like her no, father... She, she, nope. she ain't doing that. Yeah, she's like, yeah, her father's like, yeah, I wouldn't do it either. Uh, I had no intention of doing that either. I thought my wife, we were going to get the ingredients for it. And I'm like, well, when are we going to get like the graham cracker crust, you know, that you, the store bought kind She's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not how it's done. You have to do that all by. And then my wife found great humor in it. Although she had a lot of anxiety because she thought I was going to just trash our kitchen because of, you know, I'm not as clean as she is. Oh, here we go. But I was very proud to say that I, I left the kitchen in good shape, minus a little piece of um, uh, pudding that was on the wall. But we got it off, no problem. On the wall? Well, yeah. well you know, when you're vigorously mixing. I never used a mixer before. Ah, okay. And you'll see it in my video, which is on all of our social media pages, that I'm Steve Miggs, or on KSWs, or, or, uh, or BJ and Miggs as well. I'm holding in the mixer, because the first she walked in, she sees I'm trying to do it by hand. And she's like, what is wrong with you? Like, there's mixers for a reason. I'm like, oh, cool. We have one. She gives it to me. Now I'm trying to get it to start. And I'm holding it, and I'm like, what? The trigger's not doing anything. And she just could not stop laughing. She's like, the trigger's not use the buttons up above. I'm like, well, what the hell is the trigger for? It's like, the trigger is what you shoot the, the blender things out. Oh! <laughs> I, like, oh. <laughs> I don't think I knew that either, to I, be honest. I wouldn't have known. So I wasn't pulling it super hard, but I'm just kind of like, let's go, like, go. And then she's like, no, just flip the switch on top, and I flipped it up to the highest, and everything started flying. I'm not meant to be a baker, BJ. That's the well, story. Well, but it turned out okay. Yeah, yeah, for your first try, you you made a good product. and uh, I mean, My favorite on the video, you go, it's, it's very buttery, this crust, and that's the one one screw up I made was I was I didn't read the directions properly, and it said a cube of butter, and I put a cup of butter. Yeah, <laughs> and I buttery. tasted that. Yeah, yeah, Loved I did. It. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it being extra buttery. Well, what I like is that, you know what? You showed off your love for the Hawks, so that was good. You know, getting ready for Monday night. Yep. Uh, you had your little helper, a little tater tot. Yep, I said cute baby for likes. Yeah. Basically, so, I just did it for likes and then dog for likes as well. Yeah. No, you had, you, had, you rolled it all in the room. I mean, for Seattle, you put the Hawks, the cute puppy, the cute baby, and, of course, the food. I mean, you're ready for the Food Network. I don't know when they're going to do this, but they need to come and get you. Yeah, all the ingredients are there if you really want to waste your time and watch my video. In one minute, <laughs> you can read how to make this chocolate well, well, New Day Northwest usually has you on, and they also they have people come on and show them how to cook stuff. Now they can have double, Dude, you have a double threat. They got a new host. Maybe yeah. it's time to bring me in for a Cooking with Mig segment. I see no reason why this shouldn't happen. This. You've got everything you need. The cute kid, the cute dog, yep. you know, the blender you don't know how to work. Everything. And then I just need a random pear with some peanut butter to eat while I'm doing it. <laughs> Every once in a while I go over there and eat a pear and dip it in peanut butter. That's all you got to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? A pear and peanut butter? Oh, don't knock it till you try it, brother. A pear and yeah. peanut butter? Slice up your pear. Yeah. Get a big a water pear. Of peanut butter. I mean, I or an apple. You can do whatever. An apple, definitely. Yeah, but I never apples. thought about a pear. It sounds good. Like, well. I just assumed when you said pear that you meant apple. Interesting. <laughs> no, no, I had a pear and dipped it in some peanut I butter and ate it. I, it's I super how, healthy. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> well, until you try it, you don't know. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. I really, I, 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 I think you're going to have to bring it in. There's people who make peanut butter and pear sandwiches. Whoa. Okay, that's a whole other level, man. Right? Well, dude, listen, you know what? It looks like you're a noob. All right. Go out and live wow. on the wild side. Sandwich up. So, sorry, but I'll, I'll just to let the person know, I won. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Steve yeah. did win. It was yeah. a unanimous vote by the <laughs> BJM Makes crew, minus Sarah and her dad. And I, I respect that you voted for your daughter, but we Oh, Sarah's, that, uh, uh, Sarah's pie was 100% better yeah. than yours forever. <laughs> That's just how it is, okay? Just one. So her brother, her brother really doesn't understand what it's like to be in a relationship with any woman, so he just, instead, he spoke his mind. <laughs> I hope someone wanted to, a bunch of people want the recipe for my lush cake. You know, I'll type it up and give it to Vicky. She can put it up as a blog. <laughs>
<laughs> that's a great know, idea. I don't know how to do that stuff anymore. They've changed the ways. I will say this. Steve's and crust. post a video. Yeah. Steve's crust was thicker than you'd expect a crust to be. There was more crust than cake in the piece that I got. And it was more buttery than it should have been. But I have to tell you, it worked. I'll be honest. I think I was not really doing very well with like the proportions. I think it should have been a bigger pan so I could spread out the crust more. Because it took a lot longer to cook than like the directions told me. It was like, put it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes. And I didn't. I'm like, it's not anywhere near. Is done. it cooked at least or am I going to get sick? No, nothing on it. You can eat it raw. It's just flour, oh, okay, good. All right. walnuts, okay. and something else. I want to be clear, I want to be clear about that. And something else. And something else. Would it be the butter? Would it be yes. cyanide, okay. sir? It was the butter. <laughs> okay. It was the butter. Yeah. All right. Well, butter you can leave out warm. That's fine. But because it was just so high on the pot on the pan, that it took a lot longer to cook. Okay. Because I had a, I had a big piece of that uh, that slush cake. I don't want to. Uh, I want to have a nice Thanksgiving. I don't want to be in bed with it. No. There's no. There's nothing that could get you sick. I don't know this. You don't even know what's in the cake yourself. You said I the mean, other. It's like, just, I feel like it's the Gilligan's Island cake. I mean, the raw the chicken other. that it was topped with. That's fine. Oh yeah. 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 There you go. Great. Don't worry about it. I just put uh, E. coli in there for you, sir. A lot of people are texting in, let's go Sounders. Another person, can we give a shout out to the Sounders? Big game tonight, taking on the L.A. Football Club. Woo! That's right, it's starting. It's, uh, here we go. Give it out a shout. And, so, uh, this, is not a, uh, this is not an aggregate. This is like, you know, this is an elimination game, guys. Don't, don't confuse that. I know some of you had problems with that earlier this really? morning. They're not doing an aggregate here. anymore? Yeah, yeah, that's what well, it is. Well, when did uh, they change that? Yeah, they changed last year, guys. Come on, get up oh, to speed, would you please? Yeah. Danny is such a bad soccer yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, Look, Danny's rocking his Sounders cap, his Sounders jersey. Yeah. I am. I'm so the, excited. Rocking the pink. Yes. Nice. All, All the pink. Right. Danny, where's it on TV? Do you know? ESPN. Yep. Oh, sweet. 7.30. All right. At Lumen Field. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's at our joint. Yes. Okay, because we were better than the Galaxy this year. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. this is, we're playing the LA Football Club. Yeah, LA, LA. Oh, that's not it's Galaxy? A, no, totally Dude. different. I was so Dude. confused on what you were talking about for oh, a second. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Oh, so there's an LA Football Club and then there's the LA Galaxy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and it's not an aggregate, BJ. No, it's not an aggregate. Oh, that I know. Come on, guys. We yes, it's it an aggregate. It, well, the most amount of points they get against the football club and the Galaxy. That's who wins. The oh, that's how it is. Okay. Ooh, that's that's a tough one. one. So it's a three-way win. situation. If they win tonight, what's next for them? Uh, FC Dallas. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. And is that going to be, would that be in Dallas? Uh, I don't know, actually, that. Oh, so yeah. so Dallas has already beaten their team. Yeah, they beat the uh, they beat the Timbers. Yeah, nice. that's right, Timbers. Yeah. With penalty kicks, it was great. Take that. Oh, that's the only, that's the, I mean, look, I mean, I, that's how the game goes. But boy, when it gets down to penalty kicks, you're like, really? I mean, that's where my brain has a hard time. Because other sports, I mean, there's sudden death in hockey and sudden death in football. I get that extra innings in baseball. Mm-hmm. But the idea that you stop playing the game that you normally play it. Oh, no, they, there's an extra, there's extra time in, in soccer. Too. But eventually you say, we're done. But at yeah. some point they're like, we need to just settle this with penalty kicks. Exactly. Yes. That's Whereas the, with other sports in the playoffs, if it was the playoffs, they saying. would just say, you guys keep playing yeah. until your legs fall off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, so that's for us Americans. We're like, wow. Or Canadians. Yeah. Or Canadians. yeah. yeah. Hockey. Oh, Canada plays sports? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I, I, love that it. I love the Stanley Cup wow. one because sometimes they'll go the extent of a whole other game. Sometimes yes. like, it's like triple overtime, so you've just played three more periods. And I love hearing the stories of what they do in between the periods. Like, oh, the team ordered a pizza, or they got like a, a whole ton of bananas, and they're all crushing bananas. Like, because you're just so hungry, you've just played so much, you need something. And more often than not, it's like they just get like something carby, like pizza. Oh, oh see, I did not know this because I was thinking as like a day one Kraken fan, I thought that it was mm-hmm. like the Mighty Ducks where they do a shootout. Only if you know I have a player on your team that can shoot a, a knuckle puck. Okay. Right now, no team wow. has that. I got you. Keenan yeah. Thompson, not available. Right. <laughs> but if you got Julie the Cat, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're going to win. I know. As long as Goldberg stays off the math, we got that great one-two combo in goal Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, this got deep into yeah, surely did. Mighty Ducks territory. Yeah, it surely <laughs> <did>. <laughs> I'm going to pull us out of here. I'm going to get down that hole. Fine. You pick the topic. You guide the show. It's listeners on the loose. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. You got your calls. You got your texts. There'll be more of those at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Somebody wanted to say, did you hear about what Eddie Trunk was saying about the American Music Awards? Uh, I have not heard what Eddie Trunk is oh. saying, about the, but I would imagine that he's probably not a huge fan because how much rock is involved in that at all? That was a part of it. That wasn't the biggest sticking point with him. But yeah, he brought up, he's like, where are the rock artists? Like they would have like best rock 
slash pop vocalist, but there's no rock. It's all pop vocalists. It's all like Post Malone or Justin Bieber. Or, like There was not a single rock band nominated for even the rock category. And how do the Glorious Sons not get recognized in something like that? I mean, their music is so accessible. Yeah. Eddie's got a point. They should at least, I mean, you know, come on. No, he says. Uh, he even said on Twitter, he goes, this is just a joke. The MA is nominated in rock categories, and who do they give the awards to? It's a joke. Maybe the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. Please stop offending rock fans. At least call your show what it is, which he kept calling it the American Pop Music Awards, which he's right. I mean, if you're going to have a rock category, there's plenty of great rock bands putting out great rock records every year. It might not be on the, the level of success and popularity as, like, you know, insert the current great pop or hip-hop group out there, but... If you're going to have a rock category, at least give the rock bands their, their time. Which is ironic because, of course, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame includes yeah, everything. That's true. But yeah. the biggest issue he had, and I got I to agree with him, he just said, he said well, you may ask yourself, why I even subjected myself to the American Pop Awards? The answer, the, the see how a show called the American Music Awards, pay how they're going to pay tribute to an American music icon, Eddie Van Halen. Do you know what they did? Nothing. F-U-A-M-A's disgrace. That's a good point. That, How I mean, do you not show love, do some kind of like maybe a musical tribute to him? I mean, he, I mean, even one of the biggest pop stars in the history of pop, Michael Jackson, had a great collaboration on one of the greatest songs he ever did with Eddie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what a slap in the face. I mean, Mike, you got to be kidding me. I, you know, I didn't even think about that, but he's right because I heard nothing myself just in all the stories I read. I didn't watch it. Right. But you're right. What a, that is a slam because you're calling it American music. It's you know what I mean. It's that that's and he. If, what's more American than Van Halen? There really isn't. If you're talking about music, it's one of the most American forms of music there is. I just don't get how you have a music show and you don't pay tribute to him. Whether or not, okay, look, maybe in my eyes, you should get some kind of pop band. I don't care who it is. Do a musical medley showing some love for Van Halen. If not, just get like a montage of like great moments of Eddie Van Halen to have up there. Something. At least just to acknowledge the fact that I, that this is a guy that meant a lot to music. They had, and by but, the way, they also had pop hits. They were, oh, they yeah, were. Yeah. So that's what irritates me is like, there's no reason. Do they not look at history of pop music, or is it just whatever was the, whatever? It's five years. That's as far back as we go. Because Van Halen was a very popular band. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, they had no. I, I think Jump was Jump number one. If it wasn't, it was damn close. It was yeah. one of the biggest songs, and that was the, 1984 was like the biggest year for them. But 1984. Four was a very long time ago, BJ. Still, you could, you got to have a history when you call yourself anything, don't you? Or is that the whole idea of pop music? We forget everything that happened b longer than five years it ago. Seems about right with that. That's actually. lame. That's so lame. I think what it boils down to is just their ratings. They don't care. They realize that you know what people aren't yeah. tuning in for whatever rock band that we think deserves that opportunity. They're tuning in for Post Malone. You're right. I mean, yeah. and I guess at the I guess at the end of the day, if it's about ratings, then really it's this the American Ratings Awards. And really, you're right. Yeah. And at that point, shows like that are only going to be, you know, it's basically young people who, you know, I mean, what's the what's the maximum age of people tuning into a show like that? I wonder. So like favorite male artists in the pop rock category, it's Bieber who won, spoiler alert, uh, yeah. Post Malone and The Weeknd. Not yeah, because that's all. I mean, I mean, it is pop. Is it rock? Uh, I, I don't know. Wait, uh, they're the American Music Awards. Yeah. Bieber's Canadian. Uh oh, what like, the wait, heck? How, how did that happen? <laughs> What is going on here? Yeah, this now is, we're completely opening Pandora's box. The American <laughs> Hypocrisy Awards is what it is. I'm trying to find like the rock. Oh. Everybody yelled at me and got mad at me all these years for saying that you know certain bands and, and, and performers should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we said, BJ, broaden your horizons. It's just the Music Hall of Fame. And then look what's turned. Look, look what's happening. The pendulum has swung where we don't even get recognized as far as rock. It's damn man. slippery slope. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, you know what I say? Go to go to Cleveland and just you know pull all the pop bands out. If you're, not, if you're not really rock, get the hell out of here. Sorry, Donna Summer, but you're really not rock. Get You've out. You've been saying that for decades. I know, but I was. I finally turned around. I finally shut I know, up. Now and you're so, right back. And I, well, because of this, they are not being fair. The American Hypocritical Awards. Eddie Trunk is right. Where do we start Damn to fight? Straight. Who are where we fighting? Do I, where do I get my sign? I got a sign somewhere. I'll, I'll carry it. Somebody did speak of music. Said Migs, hell yeah, on the Chris Stapleton love earlier this morning. His new record is killer. The album's called Starting Over, and it's so damn good. He's not a rock artist; he's country, obviously, but he's got that old like southern rock voice. That's so, all, that's always a cool sound. You know, some of the songs are super country, but then some of them have just like a cool rock vibe to them. But if you recently lost a, a pet or a loved one, you probably want to skip the song Maggie song because <laughs> as I was listening to it, I was like. 
oh my gosh, this is the stereotypical song about a dog dying, yep. and it's killing me. Oh boy. It was just a heartbreaker. Yeah. But I was like, I had a chuckle too. I'm like, it, really, you're a country artist and you're doing the song about... The, it, what if I, this is the oh, first... I, he probably did a song about his wife leaving him and his car breaking down. What if this is it? the first song he's ever done about a dog? And he finally decided, all right, I might as well do it. Everyone else and has And he's done been it. struggling. He's like, I don't want to fall into that category, but damn it. Could very well be. It's a great song. Uh, yeah, or he could have just every album. It's like, well, which dog's going to die this time? Uh, someone said earlier during the Migs report, uh, you guys said that Tom Brady was calling a, a play called Red Panties. I didn't hear panties at all. I heard Red Danny. Me too. What? Yeah, you know, I did too, but I just assumed it was my bad hearing. Okay, so let's replay it because, so yesterday on Monday Night Football, at some point during the game, Tom Brady called an audible, and I swear, and a lot of people on the internet would agree, and Danny as well, mm-hmm. that the audible, because like, they, they have some that were like Oklahoma or, you know. Like, oh yeah, stuff like that. You come up with random yeah. names, but your team banana, knows. Banana, banana. Right, your team knows what's about to happen. And I swear that Tom Brady said Red Panty. So let's hear it again. Hey, Red Danny, Red Danny. Gosh, I'm hearing Danny. Red Danny. I heard Danny now. Now that oh, yeah, now that I was actually listening. I am actually hearing Danny. I don't hear Panty. Well, what an ego you have! You heard your name. Yeah, you know. I heard Laurel. Red yeah, that's what, yeah. I heard Red Yanny. Here's, yeah. the, uh, here's the thing. I heard Red Danny on the first one. Now that you said it, but the second one, I still heard Red Panty. Maybe it was just like it was a subliminal so thing that he was telling you. Or it could Giselle. be that oh, yeah. like, Giselle, red panties tonight. Whoa. It could be the guy who is known for being a little bit of a creepy perv. It no, could be Danny that guy. Danny or Danny, though. No. Uh, well, no. <laughs> That's true. The so, other wow. creepy perv. Can so, we do it again? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you heard red panty, right? Yeah. Yes. Hey, red Danny, red Danny. I heard yeah. it again, red panty. See, I, I did that. I heard panty. I, I oh, did I that on purpose. purpose. I did it on purpose. Because you said I panty. I said panty before. You put panty in my brain. I did. Yeah. Oh, hey, I still so, heard. So I still now, heard Danny. Red Danny? Hey, Red Danny, Red Danny. That's harsh. Damn, Rev, Rev, why are you messing with me like this? I gave you pie. Because I know how to mess with you. <laughs> Dude, that worked. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work on me because my brain goes, this is Danny. No one's going to tell me it's not. Release what's in your brain, BJ, and just let the words come into you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that was creepy. Wow. That's, next thing you know, I'm being violated. Well, I don't want to let anything hey, come Red into me. Danny, Red Danny. I heard Panny again. Me so too. So when you're not brainwashing me, I hear panties. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you hear panties. I don't even hear a plural. I heard. No, da- I, I heard Danny. No, I heard Panty. Oh, Panty. Yeah. All right. And honestly, let's just be honest, guys. I was in Florida last night skateboarding with a red shirt on. Uh, so knew it. Red Danny. Red Danny. Yeah. Like, so, there's Red Danny. I, I like to clear that up for you guys. Does it matter? Because it seemed like Tom Brady just decided not to play football anymore and not help us. Uh, you know, basically get ahead of the Rams. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> I mean, dude, he he was just he was god awful. I was like, why am I watching this game? That interception at the end of the game was just like I'm watching it, and it's just like he. It really felt like he was playing catch with um, with the LA Rams. Yeah. Like, hey, guys, catch this one. And yeah. I'm not shaking your uh, teammates out of hand. Yeah, that was the other like classless thing that he did is he just didn't even shake Goff's hand, which is, uh, you know, and uh, he was called out by, who was it, Sterling Sharp? Uh, uh, Shannon Sharp. Oh, Shannon Sharp, yes. And, and I'm glad somebody called him out because you just can't be that guy. I didn't know that was a thing that's been going on for a while where when he loses, he does not shake anybody's hand. But when he wins, of course, he goes out of his way to shake the other team's quarterback. Yeah, that's just like that. I mean, what is that? Is that superstition? Is that a baby? What is that? I think more of a, I'm mad I lost and I don't want to deal with any yeah, of this. Yeah, big baby. You know, it's like, I get it. Like, you're a competitive person, but you can be competitive and still be a person that has class. I'm telling you, I just Joe. don't find him very <laughs> likable. I, I don't find him very likable. I really, really don't. I, I, and I, I really, you know, I, I, I don't jump on the bandwagon with Tom Brady, but he just never has come off to me. He, he comes off as very fake. You know, Russell Wilson is overly positive, but I mean, Tom Brady just comes off as fake. It's like, he's not even a, like, he's not even a real human. You know, <laughs> it's just like, I, I think he's probably like one of those lizard aliens that we're supposed to not know about. You know, that's what I think. <laughs> that's the reality I choose to believe. Is Although, that so? I got to say, one of the funniest things is I hope somebody like adds like sad music or like maybe like the Titanic music when they're looking for each other or something. I think there's like probably a scene in that, right? Oh, like, yeah. Like, with Jared Goff just looking around because you could tell he's looking for Tom Brady. And probably he can't, like, you know. It's like, I earned this damn handshake. I Come beat on, him. Come on, man. I beat you, Tom. And he's like, where's Tom? Tom, Tom. The sad right? thing is a lot of these quarterbacks probably grew up like idolizing him. Yes, you know, and 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 to get dis like don't ever meet your heroes or actually beat them. How about this person says, "Yeah, talk about the one time we actually root for Brady, and what does he do? He wets the bed." Oh, he's. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah, what he, do we get for cheering him on? 
This is why I'm a little concerned about the NFC. I don't feel like our conference is as good as the AFC because... Yeah, none of us can be like the Jets. They, yeah. They're so good, they've already made it so they will yeah. not make the playoffs Jay, this year. Good job. Yes. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm wrong about this, but I feel like the AFC is just stacked with some good talent this year. And Because Tom Brady's 7-4, and four, and I'm not too sure he would be 7-4 and four if he was in the AFC. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, here's a question for you. What do Ryan Castle... And facial hair have in common. Well, you know I'm going to tell you. I'll do that at 9.50 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and facial hair have in common? Uh, it makes up about 75% of my face. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, I mean that's all I can see. I don't even see him anymore. We get also both. portions of my desk. <laughs> Someone texts and you see both on Santa's face. <laughs> Steve won't allow either on his face. Uh, wow. Well, at least you know, and the ladies love Santa, both. Santa's taking priority on that one, I guess. Yeah, you know. I, th- I love that Santa will allow you on his face, but Steve won't. That's well, uh, my wife won't. Oh well, your wife needs to understand where the presents come from. Ryan Castle? He's got the hookup mm-hmm. with Santa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My presence is your presence. Yeah, that's what it is right there. All right, I got a new survey. Turns out uh, 5% of single people say, guess what? Uh, they will not date somebody with a beard. So, Ryan, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, 5% of the people want nothing to do with you. So 5% of people, period. So how many of those people are dudes? Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> I'll, you know what? I, I'm going I'm to get back With to you. Glasses that full, that means 95% of people want to get with you. Oh, there is that. Yeah. 80, 86% say they do like facial hair. Uh, but yet 77% of people say it's a turnoff. So I'm not sure what this article is talking about. <laughs> this is the dumbest article ever. I mean, they like 86%. I like it. 77 says that. Do they know that that doesn't add up to 100? I don't like people and I don't like stats. But I like Ryan Castle. Hey, thanks. I like you too. Thanks, buddy. He's got a 12-pack. That's why I like him. BJ and Miggs play of the day. That's a good question. I can't answer it. Uh, they said, without looking it up, who was the host of the game show Jeopardy before Alex Trebek? Oh, is it who somebody is it? that at least does a games? Um, well, he did Jeopardy. Okay. Arthur Fleming Fazen. Oh, Art Fleming. Art Fleming. Oh, oh. Art Fleming. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, they use his last name, Fazen. I'm like, yeah. what the hell is that? <laughs> Art, uh, that's so funny. We totally know Art Fleming. Yeah, I know, yeah. Art oh. Fleming is a recognizable name, but you're right. Yeah. When you read like the rest of it, you're like, who is this guy? Oh, all right. Who is Whoops. Art Fleming? He's a guy that hosts host Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah, he is. He's so good. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another listener question. How do I rebuild my credit after filing bankruptcy? Uh, you rebuild it, you know, one creditor at a time by making your payments on time to, on your on your rent or your mortgage, by continuing to make car payments at, on a car that you keep during your case. Um, you can also, as I said, uh, you can almost always get a credit card almost immediately after filing bankruptcy. Sometimes it's a secured card and it'll almost always have a really high interest rate on it, but you can get a small balance credit card and, you know, charge a tank of gas or or a dinner once a month on that and make the payment, pay it off every month, and that'll help you build a credit history one creditor at a time and will help you rebuild your credit over time. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Real estate in Miami is climbing in value. Want to get in on it? Real estate has been key to the success of the world's smartest investors. But real estate investing has been hard to access. Equity Multiple makes it easy. Sign up in minutes and invest as little as $5,000 in exclusive properties in Florida and across the country. Go to equitymultiple.com forward slash boost and earn an enhanced return on your first investment. Equity Multiple. Build a better portfolio.